probably about five years ago, I, I decided I would start doing some teaching. And I rented a little room and, uh, in town here at a house because uh, my studio at home is too far out and not big enough for, for a teaching studio. And uh, so I started that and the class just continued to grow and uh, eventually got to this space here and uh, it's just continued to grow and I've continued to expand back and add more slots. And uh, so Henderson's a great place for that. When I started the school, I had people with a, that came to me with a variety of backgrounds. Uh, I wasn't sure who would want to take lessons from me, but I ended up getting people that had been painting for years, as well as people who uh, wanted to just start for the first time. So uh, at first I just had a, you know, a few people at a time. So the way to do that is to come to each person individually. So the classes aren't really lecture based as much as it is having a lot of people painting at once and then I will uh, cycle from person to person and meet them at what level they're at and uh, help them with what they're working on. Uh, I just kind of meet people at the level they're at but also what their personality is, you know, what, what their end goals are. So I try to find out what it is they want to end up doing and what their purpose for coming is. You know, a lot of it's just, I just want to try it out. Some people want to come and I want to be the best artist I can be. So I, I sort of tailor how I teach them and how regimented I teach them to, to what their goals are. In the classes, we, I teach a variety of things. Uh, mostly it's uh, simple still life paintings, simply because uh, you only come once a week for three hours. So you can't develop something very complex because if you do that, it would take maybe months for some people to finish a project. So we try to keep things simple so that they can go through all the steps of painting, um, so that they can go through the steps and learn what they need to learn, how to start a painting, how to work through the middle of it, and how to finish a painting. That way they can go home or, or, uh, and apply what they've learned in the class to their their own things at home. The best way to learn is to paint from life. So it's pretty easy to get involved in the classes. Um, the way it works is you uh, come, I have two days, I have Mondays and Tuesdays right now in a variety of times. They're three hour long classes and so we uh, meet once a week for three hours and, uh, and you can pay by the month and all the information is on the website to show what class times are that, that are available and you, you can just contact me through the website and I'll let you know if there's a spot available for you to, to get involved in.